y'all y'all i am putting so much work into this hair hey everybody it's your girl Cecilia Dre, and i'm back today with another video As y'all can see, turn on below and y'all can see by how we looking. We are trying a new wig today. Today's wig is Miss Butter Unit 5 by Sensational from their Butter Lace collection. Y'all know the last, I tried, this is my second wig from this collection. I think the last one I tried was Butter Unit 6. If you want to see that video, it's probably going to be linked up under this video and up in the iCards. That one, baby, the lace was, the lace was butter, okay? The lace was melted for sure, for sure. So we're gonna try this one and I got it in the color 1B as well. Just to be a little bit on the safe side, but y'all, I'm excited. It looked good on other people. The card looks really good. It says it's a it says it has a pre-plucked hairline. It's HD lace and it's safe up to 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and 100% premium fiber. But this is a synthetic wig, so you know. Don't don't be don't be going too crazy on the heat and all that because it's not meant for all that, okay? And also, y'all, before we get into this video, just y'all already y'all already know, but this video is not sponsored. I did pay for this with my own hard work college coins, so you already know. But you can get it. There's a lot of different vendors you could get it from online. Okay, y'all. So this is what she looks like coming straight out the pack not too bad there is a little bit of frizzing but it is, it is a curly unit so i mean you can expect that but it's cute the hair is really soft the curls are really cute kind of giving me like flexi rod type of set curling it's really cute it's like a little shirley temple okay the bounce is there for sure and just show y'all the front and how that's looking right now not too bad not too bad y'all know i don't like to go in and pluck because i'm just scared right now one day one day we're gonna get into it but y'all know i'm still learning what i'm doing and then of course they do have some baby hairs up in the front that you can play around with y'all i'm excited it looks good i do think i'm going to have to color this just a little bit because it is looking it is looking white skin but let's see this does look small like the cap compared to the other ones that I've tried so we're gonna see how that is but there are two combs in the front and there's one comb in the back and there are also adjustable straps on both sides in the back as well this is a lot this is a lot to take in at once, for sure. And it's only a middle part. Okay. We're gonna play with it. We're gonna play with it. Looking at it so far, you can see, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I can tell. You can see like the line from my wig cap to my actual Hair, so I am going to color in the lace just to make it blend a little bit more because this is just a little gray it's not really it's not melting like how it should be okay to color my lace I'm going to be using the even tinted lace aerosol spray in the color medium brown this has been working so far for me so I'm gonna use this and then I'm gonna use some I'm gonna use the blow dryer too get it all set in so you can still kind of see that line of demarcation it's a little bit better but we're gonna try to play around with the lace first before I add any more color because you know 
once you start adding more color you can't go bad it is fitting pretty good y'all know i would consider myself to have a big head this is fitting down it's this was a problem that i did have with the other butter lace unit as well i don't think this would be one that i could glue down of course i do my wigs glueless just because I'm in college, I have a lot going on. I can't be having some glue down to my head all day. <laughs> but like if I were to glue this down with the way that my hairline is, it comes down farther. So this lace doesn't even cover my hairline. So I wouldn't be able to rock this glue down anyway. But if you are somebody who has a bigger head and you're trying to glue it down, I just don't think it's going to work unless you try to do like the ball cap method or something, but it still, it, it still wouldn't work because your hair would be out. So let's just go ahead and try to cut the lace. I like to cut my lace in three sections. So I'll cut right here. I'll cut, no, I could probably cut like right here and right here. And then I like to do the sides and then I like to do the front. So please be careful y'all not to cut your own hair. And I like to, for me, I like to cut my lace on my head with a razor. Just so I'm able to like, with the eyebrow raising. Just so I'm able to like see what I'm doing. So I know it kind of does look like I have a little extra lace over here, but I do like to kind of do like a rough cut first just to see what it's looking like and then go in again if need be because same thing with the color. Once you cut or once you do too much, ain't no going back. So I like to just see what it's looking like first before I decide to cut anymore. Okay, so there is a little bit of lace that can be cut on this side. I don't know if y'all can see it, but like on this side, there's just a little bit of lace that can be cut. So let's just do that. I feel like it should be fine now, considering that this is a curly unit and it's gonna be covering the front anyway. Y'all ain't tell me y'all still had a pen over here. Come on now. Y'all supposed to tell me these type of things. This is a lot going on. Let's try to finger comb through it, which I know is kind of a no-no with curly synthetic units at that, but it's just, I don't know, y'all tell me. It's just a little much. So what I am gonna try to do is probably like flatten up the top just a little bit. Let's see if we can do it with some mousse first, just cause sounds off. I don't know if it's just because it's like a different type of style. I ain't never did this type of style before, but what? Oh, and right now I'm using the Wrap Me Fog and Mousse by Lotta Body. If you don't already know about this. Or you could go in with like a hot comb or a curling one or something. I just don't feel like going over to getting that. I don't know. It's a lot though, y'all. Look at it. I don't know how to feel about it. It is blending here. But I do know with the last videos that I've made, it could blend in real life to where like you can't really see nothing. But then like it really do like it's coming out of my, out of my scalp. But I don't know. Y'all tell me. I know sometimes when you put it like under the bright light and the ring light and all of that, you can see everything, but y'all let me know what y'all think in the front. Cause like I said, these sides will be down for sure. Ain't no way I'm going out with it up or anything like that because it don't cover everything anyway. So I don't know y'all. We gotta see. Maybe it's just a lot. Maybe I feel like cutting it or something. 
but let me let me actually go and get a wig brush and then see if i could brush through some of these curls and maybe it might give me like a different sort of curl pattern a different sort of vibe so i'll be right back because i do not have that with me right now okay y'all so i'm back with a couple of things we're gonna we're gonna try to make this work i don't want to like exit out so quick but like I don't know if it's just not my style or what. So we're gonna go in and just do a little something. I'm gonna take, I've been having the wand curler get hot. It's on the lowest setting, but it is still a little hot. So I hope it's not too, too hot. But I'm just gonna go and try to flatten this out a little bit because this little bump right here on both sides, I don't know. I don't know, it's just not giving me what I think it's supposed to give. So we're gonna try to that out and we're also I'm also going to try to do some baby hairs as well which I know I don't usually do but I feel like for this week, we just we, we just got to do it all. We gotta we gotta put everything out there and really try. <laughs> for real, for real. Y'all, it's the way that I'm really pulling out everything for this. So I don't know. I just feel like with the other with the other people's stuff that I watch, it was not this difficult. For a lot of people, it was really just like a pop and go type wig. So I am just a wee bit confused. Okay, y'all, so I know you just told me to do a whole lot, but I do think it looks better now. It is growing on me for sure. It's not like the other week where I was like, okay, yeah, I like it off the bat. This one, it did take some work, but I do like it a little bit more just because like the top was just a little too, it was just too big at the top. So basically what I did was I went in with the wand curler and I got that part flat just a little bit more just so it could look more like it's coming out of my scalp but it's more just like flat that's just what i needed it was just too much at the beginning and then i also kind of went in with a little bit of dry shampoo just to take off a little bit of the shine it is still shiny right now but if you do want to go back in with dry shampoo you can just to take off a little bit more of that shine if you want to then i also did the edges which i know i don't usually do but i feel like with this hair it's kind of like it is a hairstyle that you need some edges with just to like bring it all together. So for the edges, I use the 48 hour Edge Tamer Extreme Firm Hold by Evan New York. Um, I don't necessarily have a favorite edge control. I, Me and my natural hair don't work with edge control, so I just have a whole lot of random stuff. But this seems like it's holding it down pretty well, I don't know if y'all can see. I just did a little tutu swoop in the front just because that's the only edges you'll be able to see. And then I tried to get that to stay down with some Super Hold Spritz hairspray, some liquid mousse. Um, but if you don't have this, of course, you can use like any other freeze or hold spray that you have, whether that's like got to be or whatever. Or you could even use like some wraps and have that sit down. But it's holding up pretty well. No, I did not use the Ibn. I'm so sorry, y'all. For the edges, I actually used the Shine and Jam Conditioning Gel with Extra Hold. That's extra I used. See, I'm, I'm already messing things up because I just be using whatever. But yeah, I did use the Shine and Jam for that. Then I also went back in with some more 
wrap me thumbnail mousse that just saw me go back in with earlier just to really get this part to get flat and then I also went in with some of it like around the hair and stuff but it does look better now I do think that this is something that I could wear it, it has to grow on me for sure it has to grow on me I just feel like the curls aren't what I thought they were gonna be they're okay but like I don't know I feel like I was expecting something a little bit different so who knows I may be experimenting with this wig in the future and actually doing like flexi rod sets on it and seeing how that turns out but I don't know for right now it is pretty cute um I will show y'all the front again y'all can see we are glueless let me fix the edges but you see that stuff is sticking down because like literally all I had to do was put my finger right back in place and the edges are laid baby so I do like it it's not too bad I won't say that it's like as soon as you get it out the box pop on your head ready to go like how a lot of other people was I just think that you know sometimes not all the wigs come the same so I feel like that's how it was for me because like I said I don't think that my curl pattern looks like every like how everybody else's or how most people's one was looking but not too bad it does take a little bit of work not too much it is beginner friendly because like the lace you don't have to do too too much to it nothing too crazy but for me like I said it was just a lot at once I haven't really done curly hair in a long time so yeah one thing I can say let's show y'all the curls the curls are long baby the curls this hair this unit is pretty long and it does look like a lot of hair but one thing I can say is that it is very lightweight like I'm moving my head and stuff hey, and stuff hey, and stuff hey. <laughs> and it's very lightweight for sure it's not like it doesn't feel like it's too much hair like it's a lot of hair but it's not a lot of hair but it's like a lot of hair i don't know it's volume i guess that's what i'm trying to go for it's a lot of volume but it's not a lot of density i guess you could say but there sure is a lot of hair in here for sure so i think on a it is getting hot so I don't know we're gonna see how it is outside but right now i'm not like sweating or anything crazy i probably do look shiny but that's probably because my face moisturizer sunscreen all that sort of stuff but it is not nothing too crazy like i did say earlier i do not think this is for a big head it's, it's not that big head friendly but it does fit on my head and because it's not too big head friendly i don't feel like i had to tighten it or get any bands or anything like that it feels like it's in place like y'all saw me shaking it around it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off my head you know so not too too bad in that department but I do think if like your braids are bigger if your braids are thicker or anything like that it may be a problem for you and like I also said as well it's not big head friendly or low hairline friendly but you can still put it on as a glueless wig it should be perfectly fine it's a curly unit it's going to lay down in front of your head anyway and cover up the side so I don't see why we're gluing it down anyway if you're asking me but I do think I do think that was good I do think that it was good but like I said I don't know it's gonna have to grow on me for sure y'all let me know if y'all like this unit if y'all tried this unit if you have any suggestions as to, as to how I can make this unit look a little bit better I'm all open ears for it and just as a reminder this one is the butter lace unit five that y'all see right here if y'all have any other wig suggestions please leave them down in the comments down below i'm in wig season i'm trying to try new wigs and i've really been liking it so far i haven't had any wig just yet that's been like a complete turn off or anything so just let me know what y'all want me to try next in the comments down below and also remember to follow me on instagram at i'm silly tree just to see more of me and just see more of like the behind the scenes you'll probably see this wig before it even gets posted on youtube on there as well because i just post all the time on there <laughs> and make sure you subscribe to the notification so that you do not miss another video from me and go back and look at the other wig videos that i have as well just see how those ones worked out and remember that i love you guys so much and my name is Cecilia Dree, and i'll see you on the next video bye